Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Andrew Plays. As always, I'm your host Andrew Ambrose and I hope you're having a fantastic day. Today's game is one of my favorites for the NES and Famicom. This is City Connection, an arcade um, game made by Jalico in 1985, got ported to the Famicom the same year, and eventually brought to the NES in 1988. And if you have NES Online for the Switch, you can actually uh, play it on there. And of course, it's also on the Virtual Console, if that's more your speed. But yeah, I love this game very much. It's simple, and not that many people have heard of it. But today, I'm going to uh, play it for y'all and probably get a really good score, because I'm pretty good at this game. But yeah, it's, it's, it's kind of challenging, but it's fun. It's a nice little arcade-style game, and highly recommended for anyone curious. And it's good for Jellicle fans. Like, like if you're a fan of Bases Loaded, you might like this. So yeah, let's uh, begin. Okay, so basically, think Brush Roller combined with... Uh, uh, I don't know, like, uh, some sort of platformer. Basically, you're in a, uh, you're in this car, it's supposed to be some sort of, I think it's like a Honda or a Toyota or something, I don't know. So I, I have some friends out there who are big in the car, so they can probably identify what this is. But anyway, um, you're in a car, and you're driving along the roads in different major, um, world cities, and you're trying to paint all of the roads white. Meanwhile, the police are trying to stop you by crashing into you. Not only that, but for some reason there are also cats on the road that will make you lose a life if you accidentally hit them. Basically, you just have to paint all the roads and watch out for the cops. You can pick up oil cans on the road that you can toss at them that'll stun them, and then you, once, and when they're stunned you can run into them and they'll fly off the screen for major points. And well, yeah, that's basically it. You'll also notice that there was a red balloon there. Those balloons are really handy. You got You should, uh, you should try collecting those. Cause if you collect three of those balloons, you will be warped ahead to the next level and receive a big bonus. And it looks really awesome when you do uh, warp to the next level with the balloon. Oh god, I hate those goddamn cats. There, level one complete. Now you have driven all the highway. You bet your ass I did. And I got 14 oil cans and a balloon. Now we're in, uh, I think this is London? Because I think that's Big Ben in the, in the back there. Now we have these, uh, I think those are like European style cop cars or something. I don't know what they are exactly, but different locations will have different cop cars and yeah. You explode into hearts when you get hit. But when you hit the cat, it just plays the song, uh, well, it plays a famous song instead. And it's not as satisfying when you explode. Oh god. I hate the, the, you can't, you can't get the cats off of the road like you can with the cop cars, which, see look, I just ran that cat over. How is it, I, is it like a penalty, like I wasn't supposed to bet? It's almost like the cats are deliberately there just to get in my way. Like they're suicidal or something. Suicidal cats. Only in City Connection. For Nintendo. Nintendo Famicom, that is. This is the Japanese version. And you'll notice in the stage intermission, you'll notice that um, the, uh, the main character there was a girl. That's the way it was in the arcade version and in the Japanese Famicom version. But for some reason, Jalico decided to change it to a, a man character for the US release on the NES. I guess they didn't think it was cool enough when it, since it was a girl, so they changed it to a man. It's kind of sexist. And I don't stand for crap like that, so I'm playing the Japanese version. The game isn't any different between the versions except for the, uh, the in-between cutscenes and the title screen, of course. But yeah. Girl power. Oh Christ. Aw oh, shit. 
I hate that damn cat. I mean, cats are awesome. I love cats. I'd probably own one if I wasn't allergic to cat hair, but that cat is such an annoying little turd. I don't know. There we go. Stage two complete. With 19 oil cans and only one balloon. Unfortunately. I need more balloons. Now we're in, uh... I don't know where this is. Is this somewhere in France? Germany? Is this the Taj Mahal? I, 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 don't, I don't recognize what it is based off that... Shit! Uh... Alright, 50,000. I can usually do better than that, so I'm gonna try again. Alright, we're back in New York City again. Shout out to all my friends and fans up in New York. Hope y'all are doing well. I know I am, but, I'll, but I've heard things are going bad in New York, so I'll hang in there, guys. Oh, balloon, 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 balloon. Yeah, the way the way the scrolling works is like you gotta kind of jerk it so that uh, nothing goes off the screen. Because once that balloon goes off the screen, you're not gonna see it again. Got it. Alright, so now we go back up to the top. The main strategy with this game is that you want to clear, um, the, the you want to paint over the ones from top to bottom. So you got to do all the top ones, then the middle ones, then the bottom ones, and then the uh, ground level. Of course, while avoiding all the enemies. Ooh, another balloon. Two balloons in the same level. The jumping in this game is a little finicky. You have to wait for your car to tip upward a little, and before you can jump. See, look, it tipped up, so I, then I can jump. But if it doesn't do that, then you won't... But you have to wait until after that, otherwise you won't be able to jump. Alright, got the next balloon. Oh, Christ. Ooh! Another balloon! Hey! Warp time! I love this warp transition. It, it looks so cool, especially for a 1985 Famicom game. Hell, this entire game is very technically impressive, considering that most Famicom Famicom games back then couldn't go up, could only go up to like 64 kilobytes of cartridge space. It wasn't until 1986 when uh, the first cartridge with 128 kilobytes was released, and that was Ghosts and Goblins. AKA Makai Mura. And of course, there was the disc system, which also could do 128 kilobytes. The first example of that, of course, being The Legend of Zelda. Shit. I love this music. It's it's simple and it's it's not as like memorable as other games, but it's very catchy and it's just a fun thing to listen to. Although I I can imagine this song could get a little droning for some people because of the long notes. It's definitely better in the arcade version of the music. But I really need to get the arcade version of this on the Switch, because it is on there. But in the meantime, I have this. This is a good version of City Connection. If you can't get the arcade, get this one. This is a good one. And I'm sure it's very cheap if you can get the cartridge of it. If you're into collecting. I know some of my friends are into collecting. Oh, 
Ooh, balloon. I feel like a kid asking for a balloon. But those balloons are powerful because they give you points. So anyone would want those balloons. Kids love balloons. I like balloons, they're nice. Oh Christ, I, I nearly killed I nearly hit the cat. That was a very close call on my part. Alright, I think I got the top one, so I just gotta do the middle ones next. All these oil cans, they're everywhere. This game gets kinda easy once you figure out everything. I've been able to get at least a hundred thousand. Oh, right now I have sixty-two thousand, so I could, uh, I could easily get a hundred during this playthrough. Hey! Now you have driven all the highway. Only seven oil cans and two balloons. Oh, this. This is... No, this is the Taj Mahal. Okay, that's the Taj Mahal. Oh, okay. Those look like pickup trucks than police cars. Or maybe that's just my imagination. Because of the older games, you really the graphics weren't as detailed, so a lot of it was imagination we put into, especially with Atari. You either had to read what the instruction manual said it was, or use your imagination to uh, decipher what was going on. Oh god, oh, I think I saw a balloon, but it, it, dis it disappeared. Oh god. Oh yeah! Woo! Woo! Hey, hundred that hundred K. Sweet. Now we're back where we started. The city. New York City, a city I love with all my heart. Although I haven't been to New York City since last year, not even because of Corona. Actually, I don't even know if I went to there since like 2017 or 2018. It's been a long time. No, no wait. Oh yeah, I was there last year because we I went to see King Kong on Broadway. Yeah, now I remember. It was in the summer. I saw King Kong on Broadway. God, this I love this music. It's just so catchy in my head. They did such a good job with this game, considering the limited heart, uh, limited space of games of this time on the Famicom. Oh 
Oh my god, did I just shoot two at the same time? That looked so cool. I love how if you, like, turn back really fast after you're shooting a cannon, it, like, it, like, slows down. And then it just... It's... Yeah, the scrolling in this game isn't perfect. You can kind of, like, mess around with the speed at which things move. Like you're Doctor Strange or something. But, yeah, it's fun nonetheless. All those hearts. Gonna need some heart medication. Maybe this is good. This might be good to play on Valentine's Day. Because, like, all the hearts. Like, you can play this with your boyfriend or girlfriend or other love partner. Shout out to my friend Alex and his boyfriend Chris, aka Slimy Pink Slime. They're a very cute couple, and I wish them all the happiness in the world. They are awesome. Whoop! Oh! -ho! Blocked by an oil can on Twitter. Ah! I forgot to. Yeah, sometimes when a police car comes right at me, I forget. My brain just stops and I forget to uh, shoot an oil can. Sometimes I forget to use the oil cans, cause, so, which is good because I end up saving a lot of them because of that. Then I forget I'm supposed to use them, so yeah. Hijinks occur. Wow, that's it. I forgot that the the, the the design, yeah, the design changes for each of the levels. But the levels, even even for when you loop back to the beginning in New York City, the level design is different. So it's good that it keeps variety with different backgrounds and stuff. Do 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 do. Oh! Smack right into my face. Game over. And well, that is Jalico City Connection, a wonderful arcade port for the Famicom and NES that I highly recommend you check out. And it's very easy to come by, it's very cheap, Car the cartridge is cheap to find, I'm sure. And of course you can get it on Virtual Console and on um, NES Online for the Switch. So yeah, this is a wonderful game, and I hope you get the chance to play it. So, as always, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you everybody for watching, I hope you're all staying safe and following your safety protocols. I'm Andrew Ambrose, and I'll catch you later. Take care, guys.